Hello and welcome to Mammoth 4-H News, the January 19th, 2021 edition. My name is Matthew Newman and I'll be your 4-H agent today. So um, we're coming to you on a Tuesday instead of a Monday. Uh, yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I think it's appropriate that um, in recognition of that, I share with you uh, one of my favorite quotes from him. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can. Uh, I think especially in these days that we're going through, those are some appropriate words to share. So uh, thank you. Uh, let's see here. This past Thursday, the Monmouth County 4-H Leaders Association met virtually. Um, and amongst other things, they discussed uh, an engagement night. Um, there will be some more information on engagement night and actually a really cool, I think, exciting uh part of engagement night two that I'm going to share with all of you here in just a little bit. So stay tuned, stick with us here. Um, but do mark your calendars. The association is scheduled to meet again on March 18th. If you're interested in attending that, it's going to be virtual. Um, send Claudia an email and then she'll forward you the link. Again, that's um, March 18th. That's a Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, in other news, we have our virtual step clubs that are open to all uh, Mom at the New Jersey 4 Hers. I'm going to provide for all of you a link down below that'll send you right to the 4 H from Home website. But some of the, I mean, these are just a handful of some of the offerings that are there right now. Uh, there is the uh, Creative Creations 4 H Step Club, uh, which Virginia, our own Virginia Krasanowski, is one of the co instructors, co leaders. We have the Creative Creations club, uh, which I just mentioned, the Bridge to 4-H club, Globe Tasters 4, Cooking for Comfort, which Virginia and, and our own 4-H volunteer, Jane Sims, are very, um, very much involved with, Career Detective Step Club, My Body and Me, uh, Spin Club, the 4-H Global Food Security Coalition, which this guy is a part of, and lots, lots more. Um, if you're interested in any of those or any of the other ones, um, again, check out the link down below. Uh, 4-H leaders, if you're looking for some ideas to make your virtual club meetings uh, uh, fun and educational, uh, we've got some resources that we've compiled for you. There's a link down below. It'll send you to the 4-H um, animal resource blog, and it's got all sorts of different things that you can do to make your club meetings, your virtual club meetings, um, fun, educational, and engaging. So there's still a lot more, and I invite all of you, I encourage all of you to check out today's eblast. But I have a special guest today, and, and I don't want to keep talking. I want to introduce this 4 her So I am very happy to introduce Zoe. Hi, Zoe. How are you? Good. Good? Um, so, hey, I want to thank you for coming here today. It's super exciting to see you here. Um, do you, uh, you had a pretty cool idea, and I want to get to that idea. But first, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what 4-H club are you in? What 4-H projects do you do? I'm nine years old. Um, I go to Red Wing Charter School. I am in Mon the Monmouth Blasters. And what we do in the Monmouth Blasters is, <laughs> is we launch rockets. We also build rockets. And we learn about space. And I think it's pretty cool. That is super awesome, really cool. Hey, so Zoe, um, today I was, I you know, when I first started off, I talked about our Leaders Association meeting that took place. I talked a little bit about our engagement night, but I also said, we've got a really cool thing that we're working on. And this really cool thing was your idea. You're a 4-H member and you had this really cool idea. Do you wanna share with all of us right now what your idea was? Yeah, so my idea was that we could make a time capsule and we will put things that happened during this marketing period. And um... yeah, no, I mean, you came up with this idea to have this time capsule that we can all, Mama's 4 H members, can, can contribute to. Zoe. What was it that inspired you to come up with this idea? Like, where did this idea come from? Memories. <laughs> okay, good enough, good enough. So, hey, do you know what you want to put into the time capsule? Um, I want to put in, I don't, quite know what I want to put in the time capsule yet. That's okay. I, I think 
we've got some time and we're going to have some more information on um, for all of our 4-H members of what some of those things might be. I know you and I, when we talked a little earlier, you thought maybe something like a face mask or a face covering. Is that still what you're thinking or do you think maybe something different? I think that still, I just don't know what, like maybe something else, I don't know yet. It's okay, you've got time to think about that. And all of our 4-H members will have time to think about that as well. We're going to um, send out some information and there's also some questions too that we're gonna ask our 4-H members to answer. Um, and the idea is that um, we'll open this time capsule and, and reflect on some of these memories and these moments from these yeah. days that we're living through maybe, right now. Maybe you could also like put photos of like times in the marking period. That is such a great idea, Zoe. So Zoe, from my, from my heart, truly, thank you so much for coming up with such an awesome idea, for being uh, here today to share this idea and just for being such an awesome 4 -er. do you have uh, Do you have anything else you wanna say? Thank you, and I love 4 H because everyone's so supportive, and that's it. <laughs> awesome. Well, Zoe, thank you, and thank you for being such an awesome 4 H'er. And to everyone out there, um, be kind. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others, and we'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.